ideas and suggestions to help with your PPC management. This week we're going to be talking about keyword match types and how to use match types to solve very specific problems in your PPC account. Now before I begin, I do want to mention that I am not recommending that you make different ad groups based solely on specific match types, so a broad keyword group and an exact keyword group. This is not a best practice because it actually will prevent your ad groups from being as specific as they need to be to your ad text, as well as it promotes um, overlap and duplicates within the account, which can hurt your quality scores. So with that being said, we can have you take a look at this list right here and keep an eye on the ticker because we are going to be solving your problems in less than 60 seconds. And let's get started. So broad match keywords. If you are having low impressions or if you want more traffic, broad is the way to go. It's a great way to start a new ad group or campaign because it helps you understand how your audience reacts and how the ad group will react as a whole. Of course, if you use broad match, you're going to want to make sure you limit it with negative keywords. Um, exact match should be used if you have a very specific cost per lead you're trying to maintain um, by limiting your audience to only those people who you think will convert. Um, who are looking specifically for your keyword, you can help keep that cost per lead down. Although I do want to mention that bids will be higher for exact keywords, so be ready for that. Phrase is good if you want to mix between the two. So your CTR is pretty low, but your cost per lead is okay. Um, a phrase match will limit your traffic without uh, preventing you from reaching your audience altogether. And finally, we want to make sure to take a look at my favorite, modified broad match. Modified broad match is great for low click-through rates, but when you have a little bit of a flexible CPL, or if you want to make sure that you don't limit your audience, especially for branding purposes or things like that, um, it will help keep your overall cost down while uh, making sure your, your ad groups can continue to grow. And that's all we have time for. Thank you for joining us for this week's Ticker Tuesday, and please come back next week when we will be talking about ad text best practices.